diamond? Did Mom ever talk to you about Pink Diamond? There were some things your mom didn't like to talk about. I never pressed her for details. We both made a lot of mistakes when we were young. I thought Disco was coming back. She started a war. I think she felt like she had to confess everything to me, but I told her, the past is the past. All that matters to me is who you are now. And who she was, was an incredible, loving being. didn't fuse. What? <laughs> you can't fuse. You're a human. <laughs> I know. That's the problem. I'm just a human. That's not a problem. I love humans. You're all so funny. <laughs> Look, these last few months have been great. Oh, yes. But I'm getting a little worried about the future. Oh, just ask Garnet. I'm starting to wonder if you... Respect me? <laughs> Rose, please! Can you just talk to me for one second like a real person? I'm not a real person. Let's just talk. I barely know you. That's a good thing. We really rushed into this. Everything on Earth seems fast to me. Do you miss your home planet? No, never. What are they doing? Shh. When a gem is made, it's for a reason. They burst out of the ground already knowing what they're supposed to be, and then that's what they are. Forever. If homeworld gems are trying to return to Earth, they have to be stopped! Pearl, calm down. We're still cut off. The Earth is safe. Safe from what? What do the homeworld gems want to do? Stephen, a very long time ago, gems tried to do something very bad. It was something that would have damaged the Earth. Some gems, like your mother, Garnet, and myself, felt that this was unfair to the life that already existed here. And so we swore to never let the Earth be used for their purposes, even if it meant... <laughs> Even if it meant we could never go home. We chose Earth. We are the Crystal Gems! Glad to see you again. And there they were. Rose Quartz, the leader of the rebellion, and her terrifying renegade pearl. I don't upset you? Who cares about how I feel? How you feel is bound to be much more interesting. How I feel? I, I feel lost and scared and, and happy. Why am I so sure that I'd rather be this than everything I was supposed to be, and that I'd rather do this than everything I was supposed to do. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. C can you tell me, how was Ruby able to alter fate? Why was Sapphire willing to give up everything? What, what am I? No more questions. Don't ever question this. You already are the answer. She wants Connie to do all this dangerous stuff for me. That makes sense. What do you mean? Back during the war, Pearl took pride in risking her destruction for her mother. She put Rose Quartz over everything. Over logic, over consequence, over her own life. 
What's he got now? <gasps> That's the scabbard for Rose's sword. <laughs> Gimme! Gimme! Shoo, shoo. <laughs> Mom fought here? That's right. And I fought alongside her. Man, I wish I could have seen it. No, you don't. Countless gems were broken here. It was a maelstrom of destruction and death. But we won! Your mother led us to glorious victory. The odds were against us, and our hearts were uncertain. But we chose to fight alongside Rose, and here we made our stand against our home world. Rose had a place that she kept hidden from all but me. But you have her gem. That place is yours now, and I can show it to you. Uh, okay. I was your mother's sole confidant. For the words she could share with no one else, I was there to listen. Why'd she keep so many secrets? She had to, Stephen. It's the mark of a great leader. Knowing just what to keep hidden from everyone you're trying to protect. Everyone except me. <laughs> Welcome to Rose's secret armory. Whoa. I've been here before. What? You must be thinking of someplace else. I'm the only other crystal gem who's ever witnessed the armory's magnificence before now. Nuh-uh. Lion showed me. The lion? Yeah. What were we looking for? Her sword! Your mother's sword! It's a straight-bladed saber that's pink, with a red handle. There are vines etched in the guard that connect to a rose-shaped pommel. Oh, I know where that is. Huh? Here it is! But how? <laughs> Does Lion have something to do with Rose? Oh, of course! That's why he's pink! It's a little obvious. But Rose didn't have a lion. It seems like her stuff in there. No, Rose didn't have a lion, because if Rose had a lion, I would have known about it. Rose kept many things secret, even from us. But not from me! I was the one she told everything! You can't understand how I feel! None of you had what we had! She probably just wanted to protect you like everyone else. What do you know? You've never even met her! <gasps> Pearl, you have to tell me what's wrong. Do you remember this place? Do you have any of her memories? We were right here, over 5,000 years ago. <laughs> Pearl. Yes? I'm going to stay and fight for this planet. You don't have to do this with me. But I want to! I know you do. Please, please understand. If we lose, we'll be killed. And if we win, we can never go home. Why would I ever want to go home if you're here? <laughs> My pearl, you're wonderful. I'm sure Garnet and Pearl are worried sick about us, wondering when we're coming home. That's not my home. But, oh, that's right, you're from Homeworld. That's not my home either. Then where are you from? I'll show you. Here we are. <laughs> Welcome to the kindergarten. What do you think? Uh, it's great! Sure is! <laughs> Come on! What is this place? It's kind of where I'm from. But I thought gems were from space. Pearl and Garnet are, but I was made here on Earth. Like you! Here's the hole I came out of! Hang on! What? It's my hole! <laughs> Look, it's me, Sa! Still got that good hole smell. You came out of this hole. This is where I was made, dude. One day, just right out of this hole. So, what about the other holes? Was Amethyst really made here? How much did you tell him? What? You mean about the bad thing? 
how this bad place is where bad gems came to grow more bad gems? Is that what you're talking about? They grew other gems here? Amethyst, he's not ready. Oh, but don't worry, Steven. Everything's just fine now. Amethyst? It all worked out. We won. Stop. And we shut this place down so the Stop. Earth would be safe from parasites like me. Amethyst, that's enough. Why don't you just leave? <laughs> Amethyst, I, I had no idea you've been upset about this. What? You had no idea? Oh, this is like my entire existence. You want to pretend that none of this ever happened. You think I'm just a big mistake. <gasps> no, no, Amethyst. You're not the mistake. You're just the byproduct of a big mistake. No, that's not... I... I just never thought of this as you. None of this is your fault. You didn't build this place. I... I'm sorry, Amethyst. I hope you can forgive me. You're the one good thing that came out of this mess. Now let's go home so Steven can sleep in a bed. Guys, this is Bismuth. She's one of the original Crystal Gems. Oh, hey! New recruits! Welcome aboard. We can always use more amethyst. And who's this meatball? Hi, I'm Steven. Y you were in my lion and now you're in my house. Well, thanks for having me. I can't believe it! Rose said she lost track of you at the battle for the ziggurat. She was worried sick. Wait, where is Rose? Here it is. The weapon that would have won the war. What is it? I call it a breaking point. Cool. What does it do? Just watch. Listen up, you homeworld upper crusts. We are the Crystal Gems. So what do you think? You shattered it. That's right. One shot from this baby will shatter any gem in the galaxy in the blink of an eye. <sighs> Bismuth, I can't use this. What? Why not? Shattering gems. Wouldn't that make us the same as Homeworld? Of course not! We'd be shattering them for the sake of our cause, to protect our allies, our friends, to free all gems from Homeworld's tyranny. It's just, it, it's not what a crystal gem would do. If you won't take it, I'll just use it myself. No, no one is using it. I'm sorry, Bismuth, but it's not right. That's exactly what she said. Huh? That's exactly what you said. Um, uh. It is you, isn't it, Rose? Wh what are you talking about? Don't lie to me. You can't expect me to believe you now. After you lied about everything, you're lying about this new form, just like you lied to the others about me. But I didn't just disappear, did I? You know what happened to me. Wait, Bismuth, this is just a big misunderstanding. Liar. Don't play games with me, Rose. We were right here. I offered you the secret to victory and you refused. The breaking point would have changed everything. I didn't want to fight you, but you left me no choice. What type of leader doesn't give her army the best chance to win? How could you value the gems of our enemies more than our own? And look what you've done without me, without the breaking point! You've lost! I would have taken the war to Homeworld and shattered the diamonds! I would have liberated everyone! I just want to 
to know the real you. Not the you that everyone tells me about. I just want to know the truth. I know nothing in here is real, but... But I want to see my mom. For my whole life, I've been hearing stories about you. About how amazing you were. That you were so kind and loving. You're not my mom. I'm not? This is how I want you to be. But I don't know if this is who you really are. I've learned things about you. Things you wanted to keep secret. You locked Bismuth away inside Lion because she wanted to shatter gems and you never told Garnet or Pearl. But then you shattered Pink Diamond. Now all of Homeworld has it out for Earth and the Crystal Gems and me. You put us all in danger and you just disappeared. Steven, you know that isn't true. In the tape I left you, I told you how much I wanted to have you and let you exist. Do you think what I said to you in the tape was a lie? No, I'm sure, I'm sure you meant it. I get it. I know you didn't want me to deal with your problems. But you're a part of me now, and I have to deal with what you left behind. 